Vegas gunman's brother arrested for child porn. Laptop hard drive is missing. This Vegas story just keeps getting weirder and weirder. But anyway, the story of Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock's family just keeps getting weird. I just said that. The Los Angeles Times is reporting one of Paddock's younger brothers, Bruce Paddock, has been detained in North Hollywood on suspicions of crimes related to child pornography. Paddock, 58, was taken into custody Wednesday morning. The LAPD said the man was detained in the 5300 block of Lauren Callow Boulevard, but we're mispronouncing on the screen, on suspicions of crimes related to child pornography. However, the LAPD would not reveal the name of the man. Sandra Bonnet, Bonnet, name on the screen, a spokesperson for the FBI in Las Vegas, declined to say whether Bruce Paddock's detention was connected to the agency's investigation into the concert shooting. Paddock's father, Benjamin Paddock, was famously revealed to be a former bank robber and con man who once made the FBI's most wanted list. Paddock's family has mostly avoided the media, although his youngest brother Eric spoke out when reporters descended on his Florida home in days following the shooting. Eric Paddock said that he wasn't close to much of his brothers, but he has since involved a lucrative real estate venture with Stephen. He said it was shocked to learn that his brother had to be in the shooter, and he said his brother gave no indication that he might carry out such an atrocity attack. The 64-year-old Stephen Paddock opened fire on the Las Vegas crowd of 20,000, allegedly, people attending a country music festival on October the 1st. Paddock killed 60 people, including himself, in the militantously planned attack. Meanwhile, the police department have repeatedly changed their timeline for the shooting and the MGM resorts. The owner of the Metlin Bay Hotel has taken efforts to stop more information about the timeline of events from leaking to the public for fear it could face lawsuits from Paddock's victims. Separately, as the search for the motive behind the deadliest mass shooting in the US history appears to have hit a wall, and we'll talk about that in a sec, and while the multiple changes in the timeline of events have raised questions about the effectiveness of the initial response, ABC News reports that the laptop computer recovered from Paddock's room was missing its hard drive, depriving investigators of potential key sources of information into Paddock's frame of mind at the time of the shooting. Wow, really? Paddock is believed to have removed the hard drive before fatally shooting himself. And missing device has not yet been recovered because it just, what, grew legs and walked away? The investigators digging into Paddock's background also learnt he purchased software designed to erase files from a hard drive. But without the hard drive to examine, it's impossible to know if he ever used the software. Searches of Paddock's car and home turned up an arsenal of guns and explosive materials but data gleaned from his computer has provided precious little for the investigators to go on. And I'll put a link to the Zero Hedge article, so obviously you guys can go and check that out. So, what do I think about this? Well, it's a little weird, okay? For a start, we know the fact that the security had him bailed up in the actual hotel room when he was doing the shooting, so it's not like he was able to leave at that point and lose or get rid of the hard drive. So the only possible explanation is he had this all planned, he had it all set up, he removed the hard drive, he got rid of it somewhere, came back and then started doing the shooting. That or the hard drive has turned into a hamster and has ran off somewhere. Yeah, it, that's more possible than the first explanation actually, believe it or not. But guys, removing a hard drive from a laptop, unless you've got some sort of a computer experience, is not that easy to do. To believe, to do the actual process, yeah, it's easy. But knowing how to do it, a little bit hard. And with some laptops, you have to pull the whole thing apart to get rid of the hard drive. So, like I said, it's not as easy as, oh, we'll just take out the hard drive and then run off with it. So, I'm more curious. Does he have that sort of expertise to do that? What I think has maybe happened is there was a second shooter. We're getting back to this theory, I know. But stay with me. What if there was another shooter who did have the computer expertise, who did remove the hard drive, who left with it, 
before he started shooting. That would explain maybe how this was more feasible. I, I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, we're only guessing what happened here. And unfortunately, the FBI or CIA or whoever you want to call them, NSA, have a very bad track record of being completely honest. So we'll probably never know. Um, I do find it a little suspicious that his brother has been arrested on child porn. Okay, if you say so, but is there any history of that with the brother? Like, this is sort of questions that mainstream media should be asking. And instead, they're not. What's the motive? Why was Stephen shooting? What was his motive in this? A normal shooting within two days. We have every little bit of information. But for some reason, we still do not have a motive as to why he was doing this. And no one seems to be asking that question. So I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do What do you think happened to the hard drive? And also, what do you think about his brother? Do you think we have another Corey Feldman situation here where he's been set up? Or, sorry, arrested for marijuana. Whatever. Or do you actually think he might be guilty of child porn? And let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, guys, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.